Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, and today I'm going to go over with you the title block, the title block package that you can download off my website, titleblocks.com. I'm going to show you what you get when you download and buy the title blocks, uh, how to open them, where to save them, how to edit them for your own, and basically just what you get when you uh, download a template file or a set of title blocks for AutoCAD. So to start. I'm going to show you the file. Once you go through the checkout and pay on titleblocks.com, you're going to get uh, sent a link to download the title blocks in a zip file. This is it here. If you don't have a uh, program to unzip it, you can download one for free at 7-zip. Uh, if you Google that, it should be pretty easy to find. It's the number 7 and then zip. I use that one as well as uh, WinRare. Uh, so here we are. I'm going to click on the zip file you've gotten, right click, and say extract here. I've placed this already in a folder that I've created just called uh, My Templates. You can save this anywhere. Um, I'll show you where you can move it later if you'd like. I just leave them in my own folder though. So we're going to right click, hit extract here, and there you go. So, all these uh, different versions, so you go view details. These are all the different versions of the templates that you get when you buy the package. So, there's the metric with no revision box. There's the version number two in English units, which is standard or uh, imperial if you want. Uh, there's the version number one, or just title blocks in uh, standard in English. And there's also the standard with no revision box. And then there is the metric version. So there's a bunch of different ones you can choose. And you can also modify these real easily. I'll show you how to do that. And you're probably going to want to change stuff anyway to custom suit your needs and what you're going to be using them for. Um, you can see also there's PDFs and everything of uh, all the different um, title blocks that you can flip through. So that's what one of them would look like if you printed. So you can see it's got the title block in the corner, it's got a scale, north arrow, and this is the revision box that's on some and not on others. These are all just images of which ones are included. So we go back to the uh, templates. I'm going to show you how to bring one of these into your drawing. I'm also going to show you how to start your new drawings from now on once you decide which one you like. And I'm going to show you how to edit them. So at first I'm going to show you how to bring in any one of these templates, you can pick and choose once you open them, uh, into an existing drawing. So first you're going to save the link where you've, sa where you've uh, saved your files with um, Control C or right click and copy that once it's all selected. Now in AutoCAD, let's say this is an existing drawing that you've got. So I've got a nice shape here. And I want to put it onto the onto my new title block that I've just bought. So to bring in your new title blocks, you're going to right click on the layout tab and say from template. Now this is where your uh, stock templates are all saved. You can move your new template files to this area, to this folder. And to find it, you simply hit the drop down and follow that path there. Uh, this should work for any of the Windows versions of AutoCAD. Um, I'm not sure where they're saved for Mac, but it should be very similar. If you save your new templates in here, they'll come up right away. The other option is to paste that path we already saved. And here are all your new ones. So first off, we're going to go with, let's start with the metric version with no revision box. So we're going to bring that into our current drawing. And it's going to ask us which layouts. We're going to click one, hold shift, and select the other three. So we're going to pick them all. And as you can see, down at the bottom here, all four of my new tabs are there. So I've got 11 by 17 in landscape, portrait, 8.5 by 11 in landscape and portrait in this one. 
Uh, the other one has some 14s as well. That's the number two. So here's our template, as you can see. Uh, these are editable attributes. If you double click them, you can go through and change the values, your scale, designer, all that, and it'll change what's written down here. Really easy. Uh, to change these, you simply double click, edit the text, hit OK or Enter. Uh, this is where you would insert your logo. You can insert that as an image or just uh, type it in as text. This is the scale bar that comes with it. If you hit the drop down, you've got all the different scales. So say we want to do a 1 to 100, it'll automatically change the scale bar and the text to match, which is pretty easy. And then there's the north arrow in the top left here. You can uh, get rid of that if you're not doing anything that needs a north arrow just by clicking on it and hitting delete. That's pretty easy. Now, if you'd like to edit something in the, your title block, say you want to change the size or uh, add some lines, simply click on it, right click, and go into the block editor or edit the block in place. They both do the same thing, just a little bit differently. I chose the block editor, and this is where you can edit your new title blocks. You can change what these text uh, areas say, as well as the attributes assigned to them. You can also change the line work. You can do whatever you want. So say you want to make these all wider or something, right? I'm just messing around. You can fiddle with these. You can also make your own or just go off of mine uh, using these ones. The ones that you buy will save you hours and hours, so it's definitely worth the uh, less than $30 price tag. I think it's $25 or $29 right now. Uh, check it out. But anyway, when you're done making your changes, that's just a stupid change, but I'm going to hit close, and I'm going to save that, and there you go. The change has been made. Obviously, it's not very useful, but um, it's made. So now you can see, back in model space here, this is our drawing here. So to show that in our landscape, we've already got the viewport in here. That's it right there. So unselect that. If you double click inside, hit Z for zoom, hit enter, then E for extents, it'll zoom right up onto our drawing. So we're going to click in, scale it out a little bit, click out, and there, your drawing's in your viewport inside of your new template. To print, you'll simply do your uh, page setup manager, modify, and here you could select your printer. If you just want to use it, uh, print it to PDF, you can leave it the way it is. And you hit preview. That's how it's going to print to a PDF. You can save that anywhere and then print that on any printer that'll do an 11 by 17. It's really easy, really straightforward, um, and saves you a ton of time using templates like this. Um, so that's how you bring in. Uh, templates from my template files into any drawing. You simply right click on a tab, bring it in from from template, and select the uh, size you'd like. You don't need to bring them all in if you don't need them, just bring in the ones you want. Um, I'll bring in the version 2. Go back to that folder that I've got saved. Here's our version 2. And I'll just bring in eight and a half by fourteen. So over here, new eight and a half by fourteen landscape, this is the version two template and there's four different sizes for this one. Or actually there's five now. So same thing as before, you can double click on the uh, titles and info to change them and then the date scale drawn and revision are all editable attributes. Double click it to bring it up. Here you would add your logo and then here you could add notes, um, a legend, whatever you want copyright info and once again the viewport is right here so you simply double click zoom E for extents and there we are double click out and there you are pretty easy so now I'm going to show you how to start a new drawing and this should be how you're starting all of your new drawings now if you're going to use a template um, we're going to hit new up here and it's going to bring up the template menu once again, we're going to paste that in. Um, you can change where these are in the options under Files. I'll show you that after this. I'm going to hit Open, 
pick which one you want. So I'm going to go with this one, metric. And now you've started a new drawing with all four layout tabs already in it. Uh, blank model space you can start drawing, as well as all the layers preset for uh, the title blocks and everything's to scale and insert it. This one's got the revision box if you deal with revisions, so that's nice to have. Uh, it's set up for four sets of revisions, but by using the uh, block editor you can easily add more. Um, and that's about it. That's how you use these things. Um, they're super huge sa time savers. Um, I don't do a drawing without one, and they're easy to customize. Uh, hopefully you like this, and if you do, you can pick up the, your templates and title blocks. All of this stuff comes together for uh, under $30 at titleblocks.com. And if you'd like to learn some more about AutoCAD, uh, hit me up on there, or better at everything.info, where I have a bunch of educational videos and teach people how to use AutoCAD and freelance. Cheers, and thanks for watching.